As a result of the coronavirus pandemic, exam boards have released advanced information for your A-level subjects to give you guidance as to what kind of topics are going to be on the exams in June 2022. Now, what the plan is at the Learning Academy is to um, take all of these pieces of advanced information, look at all the things that are going to be covered on the exams when they come in in summer um, of this year, and we're going to make a lot of detailed revision lessons for these specific topics, for all of the history modules that we've taught as well as the politics modules that we've taught and um, what we're going to do in this very very quick video is just go through the things that are expected and the things that are going to be or most likely to be covered in the uh, a-level history module uh, revolution and dictatorship so this is the russian history module uh, 1917 to 1953 and for the most part you're going to be focusing on this sort of middle section here. So the period from 1924 to 1941, which is Stalin's rise to power and the economy and the society as it developed into the Second World War. But you do also need to know about uh, the dissent and revolution period. So you, I, it would be very recommended that you know about, in, a, in great detail, the February-March revolution of 1917, the causes of the revolution, the issues re as it relates to the uh, leadership of Tsar Nicholas II, Second, the establishment of the uh, provisional government and the uh, Petrograd Soviet and the, the workings of dual authority. And you also should know about the developments that took place between the February and October revolutions. So the return of Lenin, the ideology of Lenin, the April thesis, July days, the Kornilov coup, all of these different things, the role of the provisional government, the role of Trotsky, and also the, the Central Committee of the Bolshevik Party. So really as detailed as you possibly can in terms of looking at the um, revolution of 1917 and then you should be able to ultimately when it comes to your revision um, pay very little attention to the Bolshevik consolidation period to the civil war etc etc and you should be focusing then on Stalin's rise to power and the economy and society under the uh, under Stalin so specifically, you should be focusing on um, the power vacuum um, that was left with the death of Vladimir Lenin. You should then talk about the, the, the strengths and weaknesses of all of the different players who were particularly involved and had the different um, or at least had potential to become leaders. Uh, and then also the ideological issues and debates that took place uh, within the party itself. So the NEP, industrialization, the concept of uh, permanent revolution versus socialism in one country. And then ultimately how and why Stalin became the leader of the uh, Communist Party and ultimately the, uh, the next dictator. And then finally, you've got to be focusing on the economy and society during this period um, between 1929 and 1941, so under the uh, reign of Stalin. We tend to split the, the reign of Stalin into two, the, the sort of 29 to 41 period before the World War and then the period after that from 45 to 53. But you're going to be focusing on things specifically agricultural and social developments, things like um, forced collectivization, the impact of the, the Holodomor and the, uh, ku, uh, the, the Kulaks within uh, the famine, as well as industrial uh, developments. So the Goss plan, the five year plans and all of the different things that relate to the economy um, within this period as well. And again, you should be able to pay um, little attention to uh, the period of um, 29 to 41 as it relates to the politics and society and control area of under under Stalin and then skip mainly to the second um, half of the uh, module which is on um, the great patriotic war and the subsequent um, dictatorship so the defeat of the Germans in uh, in 1945 the reasons why um, we saw Russian victory post-war reconstruction um, agriculture and industry following the end of the second world war and then finally, um, the international position of the Soviet Union following the end of the Second World War. The emergence of the USSR as a superpower, the formation of the Soviet bloc, the Cold War as it developed between um, the USA and the capitalist West, and then ultimately the legacy of Stalin and the, uh, following his death um, as well. So these are the things that you're going to have to um, focus on in more detail. Like I said, we're going to be doing specific lessons for all of these uh, revision topics in the next few months, so stay tuned for those.